Hello, today I'm going to show you how I did this animation in Adobe After Effects. Bear with me, especially the people that need ASAP. You know, we are in the brink of a nuclear war, but yeah, let's go for it. Kinetic Type Series. So, this is the actual project where this was created and it is a matter of combining time displacement that works with a map that is contained on a layer and it has like this grayscale animation so let's go step by step uh, to understand to fully understand what's going on here so i'm going to create a new composition and it is going to be for example let's say 1280 per 1280 so this is going to be our main canvas but now we are going to create a new composition that is going to contain our letters animation okay so we come here to composition new composition and I want my grid to be let's say 20 cells per 20 cells something like that so I need to divide this number here between 20 and the same for the height and I click OK and this one here is going to be my letters animation okay so we go inside here and obviously this is very <laughs> very small as you can see if I go to 100% this is very small but it, it's going to work fine okay so I'm going to let's zoom in a little bit and I'm going to create a text layer now let's make it like for example from let's say this space mono font here uh, I have it like centered the paragraph settings and then I'm going to make it a little bit bigger now I'm going to, this is not animated yet, I'm going to animate this a little bit later on but if I go to my main comp again here I can drop in my letters animation okay, here and I need to compose it so that it's on the left and top okay, I'm using the alignment tools here so that's that, I'm going to go inside again just by clicking into the composition here okay so if I go to the beginning and I open now like the text layer mm, I need to generate here with the, within the animate button or options a character offset animation okay so I click here and if I go to the character offset value and I mess around with it you see that what this does is just changes the letter so I'm going to go to the beginning I'm going to set it to zero here I'm going to create a keyframe and on the last part of the timeline I'm going to go until the very last letter here so I think this works very well because this is a monospaced font that means that they're going to stay on the center very very nicely let's go if and check you know you need you need to check for things like this where uh, one of the letters here the Q is going out of the frame so that's the only one that means that I'm going to move the whole thing up and then keep checking if everything is completely on frame which uh, it is so again if I go here to my main comp you can see that I have this lovely little letters animation now the next thing is going to be like if I go to the effects and presets I need to search for the repetile effect and I'm going to apply it to my letters animation here I need to expand it to the right if you hold on shift while cranking this up it's going to be faster okay that's that 
and then I need also obviously to expand it down okay this is very very satisfying and now if I preview this you see that all the letters are animated at the same pace obviously because this is just a repetition of the composition but now the fan is going to start and that fan is very much related to uh, the uh, time displacement effect but as we all know or maybe not time displacement works very very well with uh, luma or luminance maps grayscale maps so i'm going to generate one again coming here in co to composition new composition this is going to be our map and it needs to be the same size as the main comp so i'm going to generate a new layer and this is going to be for example i'm going to apply here a gradient to start working with something like this and here it comes the important part of this i'm going to apply here a mosaic effect okay this one here and we need to match here like the cells that we have in the main comp if you remember we have here like one two three 20 repetitions so this map in the mosaic it needs to be like set at 20 per 20 uh, and I'm going to do something different I'm going to cut this from here and I'm going to create a layer new adjustment layer okay and I'm going to paste it here that way if I generate anything below like let's say this uh, black shape here and I put this underneath you see that it is going to be creating these uh, cells or this pixelated effect which is going to be very very handy so I'm going to apply here for example a fast blur and this is going to be not animated yet but then we're going to animate it it's just for the purpose of starting to set our map okay for our time displacement so if I would go again if we go again to the main comp here uh, I'm going to drop on the bottom like my map okay you can even like disable it so that it's, it is not visible so now I'm going to generate another adjustment layer here and I need a time displacement effect this one here I apply it here to the adjustment layer and I need to change this is very very important this step the time displacement layer to our map here okay so now you see that this is this time displacement is affecting the letters and what it is making is like it's taking these grayscale values to mess with the animation that it is inside this composition so you can even as I did in the Instagram post you can even animate this let's say that I want this to to go from one side to the other and stuff like that so let's see how that affects our main comp like here you see that it is moving from left to right okay so I think this is super super a super nice path to explore and to create your own crazy grid letters animation you know like again it is only a matter of generating a grid uh, and then with this time displacement and a proper map like this one here remember that you need to set it so that the mosaic horizontal and vertical blocks settings match what you have here in terms of how many columns and cells so you need to be a little bit careful and you have some you need to have some attention to detail 
but yeah i think this is this is super super nice effect uh, i think i'm going to come back to this to create another instagram post i hope you found this fun and helpful and see you in the next one Connecticut Series.